All right, what's going on everybody? Gibby Card Stacks here. I've had a couple pieces of mail coming over the last few days. I've got some time right now to rip through it. So let's see what I'm buying, at what price point, what my thoughts are. One thing I need to do, I was told that I need to promote my Discord. Shout out Maru Chan. Join my Discord, link is down below. It's 100% free. Got a lot of channels. We're always talking, making plays, up to some tomfoolery. So that is 100% free. Go on and join it. Good group of guys. Let's get right to it. Okay, this, oh, this I got from, this I got from Owen. Uh, Owen always grinding sales on Twitter. Paid $5 PWE for this, thought it was a good deal. Jamar Chase, orange cracked ice. I love, love, love cracked ice, the orange cracked ice. Um, just for whatever reason, maybe it is because of the orange, I don't know, but the Fanatics Blasters resale is always a little bit more than just the regular blasters they would find at Target or Walmart or anything. I don't, I, I imagine it's because of the parallel. So just find it a little bit harder to come by, I guess. You can only get them through Fanatics. Orange color match with Jamar Chase. If it's gradable, that'd be great. But I got it for five bucks. I think you could probably relist it, you know, five or 10, 12 bucks, somewhere around there. Not a huge Jamar Chase guy, not a huge just NFL guy in general, but of course, one of the most popular guys. We'll take it. Next one, Ed Reed, Topps Chrome Refractor 2009. I mentioned this in a couple of videos ago at this point when I bought the purple 2010 refractor of Ed Reed. Now, like one of my favorite images. 2009, a lot of great images. This, like Randy Moss, Julius Peppers, uh, Bob Sanders is okay. Donovan McNabbs is cool. Like a lot of cool images, but I hate this design. It just looks so old. Like you would think this is like 2004. I don't know, just personal preference there. But this card does a decent amount and I get it, Ed Reed, Ray Lewis, iconic. I don't know what play if this was like a massive play and you know, a, a memorable memorable play for Ravens fans. I have no clue, but this was five bucks and there were no other refractors. You can get the copper or the bronze refractors. Those are number to 649. That's like 25 plus X fractors, usually 20 plus. Um, so just wanted a cheap refractor there. Uh, don't think you can go wrong again. Topps Chrome, you're not finding it. People aren't ripping it. So whatever's out there is out there. You got to scoop it up when you can. All right, I thought this was a good deal and it came with an invoice, $21 all in, $21.57 if I recall correctly. Noah Fafita, Armed and Dangerous, Orange Fire. I don't know what this is. Three of six. Just been buying Noah Fafita. I, I imagine he's in Bowman University. That'll be fun, but just buying up the Leaf stuff, just as autos. I think once he's in Bowman University, I think his prices kind of go up. He's kind of in that sneaky, he can be expensive, but some people really don't know him. He only started, you know what, eight games last year. If he started the full season for Arizona, they're not losing to Mississippi State. They were within seven points to UW. I think that was his first start. Maybe it was Stanford the week before. And that was kind of a struggle. That's when Jaden Delora got hurt. He came in and kind of pulled it away. USC, they took him to three or four overtimes. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm high on, I'm getting higher on Arizona. I had mentioned before, like, oh, you know, they lost Jacob Cowing. Seems to be doing well with the 49ers right now. So watch out for that. Ricky Pearsall, I was told was hurt or had some sort of an injury. I miss Jacob Cowing. They are losing a lot of good power at running back, but a lot of people are high on like Jacory, Jacory Croskett, whatever his name is. I forget his name, but um, he's like one of the top rated transfer portal guys. I really miss, who's the kid that went to Washington? The Jonah Coleman. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. So, all right, I'm just trying to get this tape off, but whatever. I think I probably paid, I can't imagine I paid more than 15 bucks all in. I'd say I paid like $11.99 plus maybe a dollar shipping on this. Just buying all the Hannah Hidalgo. This is the pink wave, which you don't see a lot. Number to 125. I don't know if people just miss list this at times. I mean, 125 is somewhat low number. Like to think like, hey, there's, you know, 10 copies available. That is, you know, it's kind of a lot. When you think about numbered cards in general, like there's only 125 copies of this card, you know, in the universe. Nonetheless, 
to 125. I don't know if people mislist this as like a pink and people just get crazy steals, but if that's gradable, that would be fantastic. Same with Ed Reed and Jamar Chase, but again, I never really plan on it, but um, you know, most of these cards end up looking like eights and nines where I'm like, oh, is, it, is it worth to grade for a nine? Probably not. Okay, next one here, Ismail Mahdi. So this, I had no idea he had cards. I, I keep up with the Texas States and the North Texas um, those guys who I think have really good coaches, Eric Morris, um, and oh my God, I'm blanking on Texas State, uh, not Luttrell. I'm blanking on their coach, holy smokes, but um, really good offense. They had TJ Finley, who had been a journeyman, is really going to bother me with their head coach, but TJ Finley started at Auburn in LSU, or LSU, then Auburn, then was like, you know what, I'm dropping down to Texas State, and started balling out. Really good offense. Um, their offensive coordinator, who I'm blanking on as well, he was at Wazoo. Now he's at San Jose State. He recruited Jaden Delora, so that's why I'm, I'm a little familiar with him. I can see his face, just not his name right now. Stutzman. Craig Stutzman. Stutzman. That's their OC. It's really bothering me. I still don't remember the head coach. Jordan or TJ Finley was there, and then they brought in Jaden Delora, and then TJ was like, all right, I'm out. I'm going to Western Kentucky. That kind of shook some things up. And then Jordan McLeod, who everyone was like, oh, conference player of the year in, uh, oh, what are they in? They're not in CUSA. Whatever they're, oh, Sunbelt. Sunbelt conference player of the year. James Madison, you know, undefeated season, historic. Then Jordan McLeod, I think, entered the portal. Everyone was like, oh, he's going to Auburn. All this drama right now, he ends up at Texas State. Texas State's loaded. They've got Jordan McLeod now. Their head coach that I'm blanking on. Ismail Mahdi, I think, had... 1300 yards last year one of the best in the country i don't know what year he is but he if he were to ever hit the portal uh, he would be one of the top running backs he is legit so this was the cheapest auto they are about 10 bucks i'd say the floor this was i think was like five or six bucks so just gonna take my shot there texas state you know people are gonna be like wow you're buying texas state you know sunbelt unlicensed running backs what are you doing i think it's fun I like to buy the guys that I believe in. And I didn't know, I never really knew he had cards. So not someone I'm going to go in on, but I just want, what the heck is going on? Oh. Um, not someone I'm going to go in on by any means and just, you know, but I want to do a cool piece. If I ever see another cool piece, I'll definitely pick it up because Texas State's going to be fun. Is the market going to be there? I don't know, but I'd like to just say, hey, I've got a piece. Um, all right, so this... This I kind of saw at auctions and I let it go. It started a bid at $20 plus like $8 shipping. It came from Canada. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch this. I watched it to the very end. No one bid on it. And I was like, okay, interesting. They relisted the item and I was like, hey, sorry, I just missed this bid. Would I be, and I think it was like 20 or best offer to start the bid. So Darius Taylor, one of one. Really only played in five, six games last year, and I think he had like 893 yards and a couple touchdowns, had a really good bowl game. Who did they play? Syracuse, maybe? No, Ohio. I think they played Ohio. And uh, he should be the truth. He's a He was a true freshman, averaged probably close to six yards a touch at that point. I like the gold mojo. I like these 1991 designs. I think it makes sense. So I think I'm like $30 all in just with that shipping. And I like it. I like Darius Taylor. I think uh, he'll definitely be a guy to watch out for. He'll be one of the best running backs in the country. And you know, whether he upgrades at some point, gets out of Minnesota, who knows. All right, these I bought on Ryan's Discord. I mentioned it. I think it's been a great place for me to buy personally. Uh, I check the marketplace a lot more. I, I just stay in the college cards. That's what I enjoy. I don't really care for NFL and like searching for prospecting in that regard. Just very specific in, in a couple of, uh, of pieces that I would try to buy. Nonetheless, I was looking, there's a Jackson Dart yellow auto. It was like a SGC, SGC eight or something for like 40, 50 bucks. And I was like, hey, I'll take this. There was someone who was like, 30 bucks and I was like what why would you even offer that this is such an amazing deal Jackson price Jackson dark prices have been going through the moon turns out I just missed it but he's like I do have these I was like I'm not in love with 
SGC seven and nine, but we came to, I think $40 shipped. I think that's a good deal for the orange shimmer. SGC nine is not gonna carry any value on this. So I'm gonna crack it. Should we do it live? Might we? I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Maybe that's another video. Uh, and then the green shimmer. I mean, this is probably, maybe you get 20 bucks for it. $19.99 free shipping. I'd be curious to see, you know, where, where we went wrong for an SGC seven. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably crack that and I'll probably crack this one. Just orange shimmer, low number to 25. We'll see what happens. And, and then speaking of this is, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, where do you, where do you get all this information? Like just the most random things. One, when I'm interested in a player, I will start digging and look at their player profile on the team roster. And then you'll go all the way from high school. You can learn more about them kind of see their transfer portal you know if they go into the portal why did they go to this school was it a coaching connection a teammate something right I, I just like learning about players as you know more players continue to get cards that's when i start to research and you'll see things are connected and tied together you know it's like jackson dart you know came from uh utah what high school i don't i don't remember what high school but then I was also thinking about the back of the cards, like he was Max Prep's player, Gatorade National Player of the Year in 2020. Went to USC, was a starter, I think, his freshman year, and then uh, ended up going to Ole Miss, went Lane Kiffin, like him. I think Brew McCoy was also at USC with him, and then they both transferred out. So I don't know, Just you just go down a rabbit hole once you start finding out about a player, you know, and they have cards. That's basically how I research, starting with you know the team website, their recruiting ranking, everything. The back of cards I think is really cool to just have you know a little snippet. You know you'll you'll just learn random facts like Brandon Presley was the Oklahoma Gatorade Player of the Year, or Max Preps Player of the Year, just random things like that. Let's let's just pull a card right here. Uh, Mason Taylor, he state champ, Florida state champ. His dad is um, is Jason Taylor, his uncle is Zach Thomas. You know, just little tidbits like that and you just remember it over time. So um, plenty of resources available just online. Just make sure you, you get the right info and, and good info once it comes like analysis and stuff and all of that. But nonetheless, um, thought it was a good deal, 40 bucks. Again, I'll probably crack both. I'm a little nervous to uh, crack them both right now. Maybe, I, maybe I'll come back to it once I am done opening this, which I'm struggling with. But yeah, just crack. I thought it was decent. Um, you know, you hope to get 20 on this and then maybe list this for 60. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Jackson Dart's market has been crazy. Shout out. Someone in my Discord, they said they were watching my video. I tweeted the night before because I was looking at Jack. I'm kind of really in on Jackson Dart. I picked up uh, 24 of these. Uh, actually, there's 23. I have one in my wallet right now just uh just for the fun of it and i was looking at prices the cheapest auto is like 65 bucks right now for jackson dart someone i mentioned it in my video i was like hey under 30 bucks for almost any auto right now is a decent play this person was like i refreshed i went to go look and there was one for 35 bucks ship so it's just the benefit of joining the discord i suppose um, or just watching my videos make some money um this this, I, I was in San Francisco when I bought this. I saw it was a starting bid. I have Pat Tillman Prism searches. It was starting bid $18 plus like 535 shipping. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a stab at this. I just think $18, you're really limiting yourself. I feel like you turn a lot of people off when it comes to watching your cards. You know, they wanna try to think they can get a deal if you started at one, they're like, okay, I got a shot. But starting at 18 is tough. No one else bid on this. It was like a midday, auction um kind of a lot of just junk up here hopefully microfiber that um and i, I feel like you could probably at some point get twenty dollars for a little scratch right there i feel like you could probably get 20 ish dollars a piece this this red ice probably a little bit less i don't i think the 2019 is a little bit more desirable maybe just because it's earlier and the red white and blue just cool iconic just uh given his background and such so just felt good about it at the very end of the day i was like you know what i can break even 
and that's kind of my philosophy there. So uh, anytime I'm like, you know, worst case, I think I break even. I think that's kind of the play there. So Darius Taylor, one on one, love Darius Taylor. A couple Pat Tillmans, none. They're probably both worse than a ten there. Uh, Ishmael Mahdi, check him out if you wanna if you wanna ride with me on Texas State. Hand it all go to one twenty five. Nice one there. El Fafita, three of six. Ed Reed, just a little refractor. Those are cool. 2009, Jamar Chase, and then a couple of nines. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to crack them. Maybe mm, I need to be in the mood. I don't know. We'll see. But if you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. If I've ever made you money, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.